great, great day. Guys, I'm so excited. Yesterday I tried something pretty intense. I've gone off the deep end, so that's an update for you. Yep. <laughs> back to my channel for a very special blog. I was considering keeping today for myself, um, but I've decided to take y'all along with me as a way to hopefully encourage people to take control of maybe negative days in their life and turn it into something positive because we have the power to do that. And today I am celebrating me day, which is essentially just treating myself on my ex wedding anniversary. We'll get more into that later. Um, I feel like I can kind of talk you through some of my intentions as I get ready this morning, and I have a lot to catch you up on. Oh my goodness, so much has happened in the last few days without y'all. I also wanted to just have a little get ready with me this morning and tell you guys about a brand that I love so much that I'm getting to work with on today's video. This is a brand that I found a few months ago and I have like gone full fledged into their products. It is Typology. I have a lot of their kind of more like makeup adjacent things. They call it their tinted line of like concealer, blush, lip things, tinted serum. A few body things I have of theirs like the scrub, this lotion, this is like an aloe vera kind of wash situation. Oh, they are so good. They're certified B Corp. They're a French brand. You guys know how I like my French brands. They are really intentional about their packaging to like be able to fit it all in a small box when they ship it to you. But the thing that I think is really cool is they have something called a skin diagnostic test and you get your skin typology and then they formulate the products to you. So like this, is literally formulated for my skin typology, which is an AE negative, AE minus. I've honestly just been trying to incorporate more products that I can like understand the ingredients <laughs> because I didn't realize how many of the things I was putting on my face, I didn't understand the ingredients at all. Isn't that lovely? Big news is I have a little gift for y'all. If you are wanting to try out anything from Typology, they have a ton of things. They have a lot of skincare too that I've played around with and really like. They don't do this hardly ever. They did it for me during Vlogmas and y'all really liked it, so they extended it. But I will have a link down in the description. And if you spend just $30 on their site, which is easy to do because you're gonna want everything on their site, trust me, they will give you a gift. I valued it up to $30 as well. It's this really nice face scrub. They call it their Radiance Face Scrub and it has rosehip oil and it is also valued at $30. So spend $30, get a $30 gift. I'll have that in the description below, but thank you to Typology. I will show you a couple of the other things as I keep going with my makeup routine, but thank you to them for partnering with me on today's video. Okay, I did my eye makeup, but let's talk about me day. Like I said, I was hesitant to vlog today because one, I don't want people to think that like my ex wedding anniversary is this big looming cloud over my head and like that I care that much. It's just a promise that I made to myself after the divorce of I'm gonna reclaim that day and make it a day I really look forward to by almost kind of treating it like my birthday. I just decided that February 2nd for the rest of my life, I would just kind of spoil myself. Last year I did a staycation. This year I'm gonna do it a little more chill. There's two things that have been on my like want list and I'm just gonna see if I can find them. One is a black crossbody bag and one is a piece of art that I could take to my new apartment from here to like kind of signify it this month and just have something happy. I do want to go shopping and that's the other reason I was hesitant to share today because I don't necessarily like showing myself shopping because I know that um, my job can kind of, you know, be very product heavy anyways. Um, and I honestly don't go out shopping if it's not a sip and thrift very often at all. So I kind of wanted to just like have that for me, but 
I figured if I could just like lay it out up front being like these are my intentions I just want to treat myself I want to have fun and I've decided to take you guys along for it then maybe I would feel more at peace with sharing it and tonight I'm gonna go like sit on a beach at sunset maybe I can convince Dorothy to do a little surf I can watch them surf I don't know just gonna kind of like feel it out it's my last day here alone my parents come in to town and then I leave so I'm just kind of like cheat myself okay look at this lip gloss ready or lip oil they call it isn't that so pretty god love it so much if I'm gonna be out and about might run a couple errands like get my glasses adjusted drop something off at UPS all that kind of stuff but like I said I have some things to catch you guys up on <laughs> so let's do that okay first thing to catch you up on I just had my vlog cam with me so I uh, vlogged at this little moment but Monday morning Monday afternoon actually I get in my car and something shocking happens. So let's just roll that footage real quick. Guys, 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 it's not a vlog day. I'm leaving a location that I shot some sit down videos in and it's raining today. And um, I was sitting in the car and there was a drip coming from this handle. Just, just this handle was dripping. See it? Drip. Right there. And I was sitting here and I was like, how is that dripping? Is there like a little, hole does it go to the outside and then I felt this and I was like well this is wet and I felt this and I was like that's that's wet how is there water getting in this and then I felt this and I was like huh and so I opened it did, um, did somebody try to break in to my car from that did a coconut fall in my car is that going to be thousands of dollars? Probably. I can't, I, I'm driving home to Texas in T minus five days. I'm just in shock. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, it was a big bummer. I um, then drove to the dealership and by the time I got there, the hole got so much bigger, I took a picture. And they were really nice to set me up with a loaner car for free because I had already just got a thousand dollar fix there for my driver's seat. And then he was like, you're back? And I was like, yeah, look at this. <laughs> and so he hooked me up with a loaner car for free, but he told me it's gonna be $930. So that was a big bummer, but I'm glad it happened with enough time to fix it before I have to drive all the way to Texas. So I'm just trying to glass half full, thankful that I have uh, emergency funds set aside for things like this, but also kind of a bummer to deplete your emergency funds <laughs> and have to refill it, but trying not to be stressed about it. Glad I had time to get it fixed before driving. And my second update is I had my final last pottery class and I kept meaning to get a little clip during the process and it just wasn't on filming days. So I just was way too present to bring my camera, but I finally brought my camera for the last day where we glazed all of the pieces. So I'll show you a bit of that process and um, what the studio looks like. And you can meet Katie, who is my now friend. We've honestly, we've hung out so many times. We've gone to the farmer's market. We've had game nights. We've had each other over for dinner. So it was a sweet new friendship. But if you wanna see her and her studio and all that, here's a little clip from that. Hi, it's me from yesterday. This is Katie's studio. Um, she's in the back. I'll show you that room next, but this is where I've been taking. Isn't it so cute? A couple little pottery wheels. Here's some of her stuff. I'll link her Instagram if you wanna follow her on Instagram. Um, I think she sometimes sells over DMs, but she doesn't have a website yet or anything, but here you go. Screenshot that if you want her information. She has the cutest stuff, like little marbled things and um, we are planning all the glazes in the back. So I'll take you back there and show you. Here is Katie herself, the master creator. Hello, These are all of her beautiful pieces. Look at this berry bowl. Oh man, it's so cute. These are all of my um, <laughs> interesting pieces. This was week one. We have improved. <laughs> um, we have my matcha bowls, which have shrunk down a bit, but I think that that's still matcha size. And, um, oh, this is the, this is the mug. That's not a bowl. Oh, this is the bigger one. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna do those clear glaze, did we say? Okay, cause they're marbled. Hand painted a couple. Hand painted these because I think that I'm gonna kind of treat them as like espresso and latte matching little mugs. And I did a lot of soy sauce dishes, which I think we said we're gonna try to dip the inside one color 
and the outside either clear or raw. I forget this little nesting situation because I think we're gonna do the inside of these one color and then the outside clear and raw. So I don't even know what the next step is, but it looks fun. <laughs> we're mixing glazes. We're mixing glazes. Katie's starting with one of hers as an example. Her much more there beautiful watchable than mine. <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, that's true. So. Self-awareness is key. And then you can see where the wax is. We, yeah. It like comes right off. Wow. And then, just like that. I did mine with like the foot knot. I don't know if you did, but so I'm like wiping a little more. Yeah. yeah, just wipe right around there and clean it up. Wow! Okay. And did you dip it in face up? It doesn't it, really it matter, yeah. Okay. You just get it all the way in there, kind of stir it around for like one, two, three seconds, and then pour it out. Kind of like top it, and then just come over here and wipe it off. Wow! Okay. Crazy. Crazy. Ah! And here's how the soy sauce dishes look. I just dipped the inside and the outside will be raw and it's crazy to me that this powdery thing turns glossy. Like, like that. I don't get it. I don't get it, Katie. So that one, when it comes out, will look like this, which is really pretty. Can't wait to see them. Maybe next vlog I'll come pick them all up. Bye guys. See you. When I see you, if they survive. <laughs> they will survive. Uh, I'll they believe survive. it when I see it. I'm not gonna get too emotionally attached. One more step. Okay. Well, you know, it would be just my luck. <laughs> <laughs> and then my last and final update before we strike out on the town is I have gone down this rabbit hole. I think I finally have the capacity in my brain again to actually care about like health and wellness. Um, the whole last year I just treated my body like crap. My adrenal system is probably so messed up. It's probably part of the reason I've been feeling so bad lately. I would skip meals and take caffeine pills to have enough energy to get through the day, like bad. And I don't know, I'm just now realizing how mean I've been to my body this last year. And I've been listening to so many podcasts about supplementation and nutrition and Ayurvedic practices and traditional Chinese medicine and like all these sorts of things. And I am intrigued. I am in deep. I am in so deep. Let me show you my little supplement corner, but I also just ordered like six more things. And I think I'm about to enter this new season of life where I just go all out on all the things. Like I'm already looking into water filters for my next apartment in Austin for my shower. Let me just show you. Here's my little supplement corner of all the things that I've just kind of acquired slash brought on the road, like my matcha, my CBD, adrenal support. Oops, 5-HTP. I know nothing about this brand, so I don't recommend it. I just got it at the grocery store. My um, D3K2, my seed. This is Sheila G from Symbiotic, which is like a mineral thing. I've been taking magnesium to try to help calm my anxiety a little bit. I've been really into propolis and I just ordered so many more things and this is just the new me. <laughs> I've gone off the deep end, so that's an update for you. Yep. <laughs> Hi from my rental car, which is the exact same model as my car, just slightly different interior, slightly different year, I think one year later. Anyways, I just crafted what I think is the perfect moco day. Sweet Jordy even wanted me to get a donut because he knows they're my favorite and donut spots close early. So I say maybe we start with a donut and then we go to the center that has the spot that I got my glasses. It has a Warby Parker to get those fixed. It also has a Free People Urban Outfitters Anthropology and one of those might have a similar bag to what I'm looking for. There's an Ulta there too. I don't know, maybe get a late lunch. We'll see, <laughs> who knows. And I think I wanna go to Captain's Helm, which is that like vintage thrift store slash coffee shop in Oceanside to look at their art because they have some art made here that are on like kind of um, canvases that like hang. And I wanna go look at those because I think that they're really cool and that could be fun to be my art piece that I take to the new apartment. So I'm gonna get a donut. 
This little main street down Carlsbad is so cute. It kind of, it honestly kind of feels like my hometown back in Texas. There's always parking spots like right up front, which is helpful. And this is my favorite donut in Southern California. I took you here on one of the Prepping for Jordy's birthday vlogs. So let's go in. All the gluten-free ones are down here. <gasps> okay, maple is really good. Blood orange and olive oil. That sounds amazing. Whiskey and sea salt, but gluten-free? I'm kind of curious about that. Hmm, okay, we'll see. So I let the employee choose for me. I said, uh, which flavor should I get? And she goes, whiskey! And I said, okay. And I honestly don't know what's in this dropper. If it's just like sugar water or something else. If this is some sort of gluten-free whiskey, I will hate it but I don't think that they would give this without an ID. Oh no, it's like syrup, okay. Okay, well, let's give it a taste. Oh, I love me day. Me day is the best day. I'm in Madewell and I don't really see any like crossbody sling bags. This is not at all what I'm looking for, but I do really love that. But um, I have a goal and a mission and I'm not gonna get distracted, but that is just a really beautiful bag. Well, Madewell was no go, but I did get glasses that fit me now, which is really nice. I can shake my head all around and they don't budge a bit. But I think I'm gonna check anthropology next and see if I can, I, I have a very specific picture in my mind. I want it to be like, you know the tan bag I carry all the time? A similar shape to that, maybe a little less like safari, but black and preferably leather, but doesn't have to be leather, but big enough to fit like my glasses, my phone and my vlog camera, which is pretty big, honestly. So we'll see if it exists or not. Look at how beautiful. It's a cute little center over here. I walk in and the very first like little model guy, what are these called? Mannequin, is wearing almost exactly what I'm picturing. I don't know how I feel about the strap, but I could probably replace it, but like the shape and size of this is perfect. Oh, is there a little hidden front flap too? Okay, let's go see if we can find this and store somewhere. Okay, so I asked an employee, this is literally the last one in the store that they took it off the mannequin for me, but the price is better than I expected. It's 78. I'm iffy on the strap, so would love comments on if I should keep the strap or eventually replace it, but this is like the exact right size and shape and everything that I was looking for. And let's see, this little pocket, I'm trying to see how to get into it. I guess you unclip it, which is a little inconvenient. It's almost like a wallet, which is so nice. You can keep like cards and bills and stuff in there. I'm gonna get it. That was so much easier of a hunt than I was expecting. Two stops. Okay, what a day. I wanted to share an uh, interesting little thing that I tried yesterday. I'm in this phase of like just being okay trying new things even if I'm kind of skeptical of them. It probably has to do with what I mentioned earlier of like having the capacity in my brain now to actually think about health and improving myself and just trying instead of just surviving and I think taking this month here has really helped kind of create that space. It's crazy what creating space can do. Yesterday I tried something pretty intense and it is basically a type of therapy I've never tried before. It was a three hour therapy session. Have you ever heard of muscle testing for food allergies? I did it when I was a kid. My mom was also very like experimental with all the things she took me to as a kid when we didn't know I had celiac and all that kind of stuff yet. But they do this when trying to figure out what your body's sensitive to or allergic to that they'll put a food in your hand and then they'll like push to see your muscle resistance and if your body's really weak to resisting it while you're holding that food some people believe that it can be a sign of like a sensitivity and this is a type of therapy where they take the same kind of approach but with asking the body questions about what it's like holding on to and what emotions it has and maybe um, like things that you've gone through and I decided to try this because I had some friends that had done it and they had liked it when I'm in therapy now just talk therapy I find myself talking a lot about like work or things happening in my actual day because I can remember it because it's happening right now to me. Um, but I have trouble talking about things that have happened in the past because I genuinely just like cannot remember it. And it's something weird about my brain. Like even Jordy asked me the other day, he was like, Hey, what was one time you felt really loved and, um, cherished this week? And what was one time you felt misunderstood? And I was like, 
what did we do this week? I'm still skeptical, like I said, but she went and like asked my body all these questions and then she goes, okay, so you're testing really strong for resentment. And she's like, and I'm going to see what year it started. And she was going through all the years. And I kind of assumed she would maybe say childhood because I feel like in therapy, you hear a lot about like repressed childhood things. And I was like, well, she doesn't know that my childhood was pretty healthy and it didn't get bad till I was older, blah, blah, blah. So I was just kind of sitting there waiting for her to say like five or eight or whatever. And she goes, huh, 23. And I was like, whoa, 23 is when it all kind of started to when I started to really catch on to things. That was the first thing she did and I was like, interesting. And whether or not there's any truth behind it, she did kind of force me to talk about some things that I had never talked about in therapy, which I thought was really interesting. And like I said, it was three hours. So it was very intense. Um, she's a Christian. So the way that she had me kind of like release some of the things in my body was like praying like, God, I give this to you. I release this, I'm no longer holding on to this so it no longer affects um, my my health. I kind of don't like to talk about things on my channel that I don't like fully believe in. You know what I mean? Like even the lymphatic drainage massage I tried, I was like, I don't know scientifically how backed and proven this is, but I'm just going to try it. And I was exhausted the rest of the day. I did it in the morning from like eight to 11 and the rest of the day I was drained. I was just done for. I was so tired emotionally. She made me cry. And when I cry, I just, I cannot anymore. I'm just done. I'm done. I'm done. Anyways, that's my update. I might run into this Ulta right here. I'm almost out of my brow pencil. And then go run the other errands of returns and stuff and see where the day takes us. Wi-Fi because my place still doesn't have good Wi-Fi, but I wanted to show y'all the print that I ended up getting. I've eyed this for months, and I thought it was nice and peaceful and calm. You wanna see it, George? Yeah. Ready? Set. Whoa. Isn't it so pretty? That's pretty. It's a lot bigger now that I'm holding it. When I when it was up on the wall, I was like, oh yeah, that's not huge. Ow. Oh. It's a safety gotcha. pin that just got me. That's great. Wow. Good it's job. been a good me day. Good Tell me about it. I found the exact bag that I was looking for. Yeah. I got my glasses adjusted. Nice. I got a donut thanks to you. I got a matcha. Great. I was just a big consumer today and yeah, I recognize that. But it's going to stop now and I'm going to do some work and maybe take Max on a really lovely walk and maybe go to the beach with you and cook with you tonight. Mm -hmm. Really good. Do you want to tell them hello? They're over here. You got so many eye buggers, we gotta fix that. Um, a little bit later, did some computer work. Back home, gonna take this guy on a sunset walk to the pier to watch surf. And I think I've convinced Jordy to surf there. It's my favorite spot to like watch surf because you're right up on it. There's benches, it's just kind of the best. And it's a perfect length walk for Max. And then we get a ride back. And I got something so exciting in the mail. I know I told you I've been working on um, a little candle project of trying to make the perfect scent. And I just got in the next set of samples with my notes. And by golly, I think we've done it. These are little tiny little sample ones. Guys, I'm so excited. It smells so good, I can't wait to light them. Look at that cute little tiny wood wick. The big ones will also have wood wicks. You gotta go putty? Okay, all right. Thank you for throwing them aside. I'm stargazing. 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 Okay, you just saw the sunset walk and I am going to end this vlog now while I still have sunlight. I just wanted to say thanks again for coming on my me day with me. It was a very great 
great, great, great me day. And I think the rest of the night, Jordy and I are going to just cook in and enjoy a night end before family gets here. I'm really excited. Next vlog, we'll have mom and dad. So we will be eating out a lot. So I'm excited to eat in tonight. But thank you again to Typology for partnering with me on this video. Here's what this tinted moisturizer looks like, tinted serum by the end of the day. Don't forget that I will have that link in the description to get the free scrub valued at $30 when you spend $30 or more on their website through my link. So if you wanna try out, there's so many things I'd recommend. I don't even know what to recommend first. The lip oil, the tinted serum, the blush, the oil cleanser. Those are the ones I've gone through the quickest. So recommend them, but okay. Now thank you for being here. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another video very soon. So let's take all night, all night.